Beauty. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning in the bush. Okay, so um, yeah, this is one of the few water holes that's still being provided uh, with water in the park. So a nice selection of rhinos. And if we look at the footage there, we've got a nice bull, thick base at the, at the wall. Wraps it off on termite deals and tree stumps etc because he needs it nice and strong for when he's fighting. Inside the water hole, the uh, cow with a nice lock in the Is that in the rubber for the two offspring? The lioness that's lying here is, is not looking too great, but that's not a negative comment. That's uh, it's a realistic comment. Things happen in the bush. So, what's interesting here is the dynamics. I spent the last three months here doing a lot of walks. So, the dynamics of the lion population here is pretty interesting at this stage of the game. Um, there's a coalition of four males that's moved in. We call them the Bondos. And the two old pride males of the Renoster Copies Pride. So in other words, the lioness that's lying here, they were the pride uh, males. They've been ousted. But it's as if the Pondos haven't settled it. Okay, so every now and then, we've got the four Pondos moving off and the two old males move in. Now you need stability for the lionesses to have cubs and to flourish. So if we look at that lioness, it looks like she's got signs of mange. You can also see she hasn't fed well. But it's because of the pressures of these dynamics that's happening with uh, with this particular pride. And I think the challenge is also all the lionesses here, all four lionesses have got uh, cubs. Um, so obviously with infanticide, new males coming in, if it's not stable, there could be nomadic males coming through here and they could effectively kill the cubs. So a number of infanticides. So they're under pressure at the moment. But that's natural, that happens in nature. It's uh, part of normal selection. So yeah, a beautiful morning. Lots of rhino. It's great.